Welcome to the Best Incorporated Soldering Tip of the Day. Your instructor is Norman Meir, Master IPC Trainer. Today's soldering tip is the hook terminal. To complete this connection, you will need a length of tinned wire, a soldering iron and the appropriately sized soldering tip, needle nose pliers, solder, flux, and wire cutters. To begin this process, clean the area using a stiff bristled brush and isopropyl alcohol. Wipe the area dry using a lint-free cloth. Position the wire on the hook so that the insulation is approximately one wire diameter from where the soldered connection will begin. Using the needle nose pliers, grip the wire at the location you wish to bend the wire. Support the wire and the needle nose pliers with your finger and bend the wire to create a 180 degree bend. Place the wire in position onto the terminal. Trim the excess wire using wire cutters. The goal is to have approximately 180 degrees of wrap around the terminal with the wire. Apply flux to the wire and terminal to be soldered. Because liquid transfers heat easier than solid, we will use the solder to create a heat bridge between the soldering iron and the objects being soldered. Place the solder wire between the iron and the terminal and wire. Heat the hook and the wire until both will melt the solder when applied. The solder wire should be applied opposite to the area where the soldering iron touches the connection. When the connection has cooled, Clean the area using a stiff bristled brush and isopropyl alcohol. Wipe the connection dry using a lint-free cloth. Inspect the area according to IPCA 610 standards. A target connection should have between 180 degrees and 270 degrees of wrap and the entire area of wire to terminal contact will be coated with solder. The wire should still be visible in the soldered connection. This has been a Best Incorporated Soldering Tip of the Day. For more information or to schedule training, please contact Best at www.solder.net.